and rollers it's me your girl Anita and I'm here with my handy dandy assistant Lonnie what's up peeps so today and sorry y'all I just was I just was in the eat because I'm cooking <laughs> so in today's video we're gonna finally be sharing with you guys our outdoor deck and patio makeover um, now in the last video you saw Lonnie was cleaning the deck and getting the yard ready and if you didn't see that video I'll link it up above but today we're finally going to show you the finished product and sorry that it took so long but like I said we had to wait for um, a lot of the items to get shipped because you know with COVID and everything it took a while for things to come and it's been raining here a lot so every time I wanted to film the finished product it was raining so I couldn't <laughs> shoot it in the rain but today is absolutely gorgeous outside and today is the 4th of July so we hope all of you are having a great 4th of July we have a good 4th of July right we're yes. just home chilling about the grill grill cook coco's over here chilling yep. come here cokes she's over here chilling got a fresh new haircut <laughs> looking bougie but anyway yeah so i'm not going to do a whole lot of talking we're going to get into the video we're going to show you the process from start to finish because if i don't then people will say well how did you do that or what did you do that so i'm just going to show you all of that so that you'll see the whole process from start to finish and then at the end you'll see the finished result it looks good i love it I love it. It yeah, looks really good. Yeah, we might we might keep chilling in our little outdoor retreat. And Coco loves it too <laughs> with her little spoiled self. But anyway, you guys, I'm gonna stop talking and let's get into the video. Okay, you guys, before we get started, here's a quick look of what the deck and patio look like before we do anything to it. And as you can recall from the previous video, Lonnie power washed and stained the deck. So we have that looking all brand new and ready to go. We also ordered a lot of items online, um, such as our furniture that we're putting on the deck was ordered from online, and I'll go over that in greater detail later on in this video. And then we also took a trip to World Market because I knew that I wanted to get some nice outdoor accessories from there, and they had some beautiful pillows and outdoor accessories um, that I purchased, but I'll show you that later on in the video as well. So now it's time to get to work and we're going to start off with these privacy screens that I ordered from Wayfair. Um, it took so long to put this stuff together because a lot of this stuff took just took a long time to come because you know with deliveries and COVID and everything, the deliveries were just falling behind. But yes, I purchased these um, uh, screens, these privacy screens from Wayfair and we absolutely love them. I'll try to link as much as I can down in the description box if you're interested in purchasing these items. But yeah, so that's what Lonnie's doing here. He's putting these screens together. And I'm so glad we got them because as you can see, it's very open back there. So these screens give us a little bit of privacy so our neighbors don't be all up in our business when we outside chilling on our deck. <laughs> And you guys know Little Miss Coco has to make an appearance in the video because uh, she's part of the family now. <laughs> So originally when I had the vision of how I wanted the deck to look, I was going to put the screens in the corner, but then I was like, mm, no, that's not going to work. So putting them against that back railing just looks so much better. So that's what we did. And now what Lonnie's getting ready to do is he's getting ready to put the um, L-shaped sectional that we um, purchased. This was also purchased from Wayfair and this is a teak sec sectional and we absolutely love it. Um, actually, Lonnie picked the sectional out. He actually, we were looking for different sectionals and I was like, I don't want a um, wicker sectional because so many people have that so I wanted something a little bit different so we, he found this teak um, sectional on Wayfair and we just love it and as you can see he's still putting it together because y'all know I don't put stuff together that uh, he's good at that so I just let him do his thing <laughs> And if you're wondering why he's putting it together in the house, it's because it was hella hot outside. So he was like, I can't, I can't be out there putting this together. I'm gonna have to come in the house and do it. So that's why he's doing it inside. 
I tell you, it's nothing like having a good handy dandy assistant. If you don't have one, you need to get you one because they definitely help out. <laughs> So now what he's doing is he's putting together our new Adirondack chairs. Uh, what I wanted this year is I wanted some nice, brand new, um, modern looking Adirondack chairs. And I ordered these chairs. I ordered four of them from Lamps Plus and I absolutely love them. I mean, I don't know if he was necessarily filling them because he had to put them all together, but he did a great job. And like I said, I purchased four of them. Why you wanna let me go, na na now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know, na na now. Cause your love made me. Look at this chair, you guys. It's absolutely gorgeous. So the next thing is to trim this our crepe myrtle tree because if we don't trim it, it will get out of control. So I'm just sweeping up the debris here and blowing off the deck. Then we made a stop at Lowe's because I have some planters that I want to put um, some nice plants in. So we went to go look for some plants and get some potting soil and things like that. So this large black planter right here, we purchased this from the at home store. We actually purchased the three of them. And as you can see, Lonnie's putting holes in the bottom for draining purposes. And he does all of our plant pots as well as our yard. You guys know he takes care of all of that stuff because I don't have a green thumb and I'm scared of bugs and I don't dig in dirt. <laughs> um, I don't know the name of all these flowers he's using, but um, they look really pretty. So the next little project we're going to do is we're going to re-sand our patio because as you can see there's a lot of gaps there and we want to close those up so that it looks nice and still looks in good condition so that's what we're doing here. He's pouring the sand and I'm just shoving it in the holes as you can see see how those gaps are getting filled up. If you have problems like that with your patio that's all you need to do is just go buy some paver sand and just refill it in and it makes a world of difference and it makes your patio looks like you just got it put down. See the difference? It looks so much better. It looks really good. If you notice a piece missing on this privacy screen, a piece was missing in one of the boxes, so we had to wait for them to send us the piece to screw the, to screw the other shield onto there, so that's why that piece is missing, but by the end of the video, it'll be on there. So now we're going to go ahead and move this furniture outside, and those are the cushions that go with it. We got white because it's easier to uh, do different colors with that, and there's Lonnie and Kayla's boyfriend, um, Adrian, uh, moving the furniture from inside of the house to outside on the deck. So as you can see just from the base it's a pretty from the frame rather it's a pretty good size sectional and I'm just laying the cushions on here for right now I'm not going to take the plastic off just yet because we still have a lot to do and I don't want to take them off until the end but it, the set also came with this little coffee table and it's so cute so yeah Lonnie's just going to put that together and I'm just going to sit down and watch and take a little breaky break. <laughs> So next line is going to start planting some of the pots that we purchased and here's just an overview of some of the pots that we did get. Um, this big one here we got from Lowe's, this one here is from Lowe's, that one is from Lowe's and then the one right here is from the at home store. As you can see I'm using different shades of blue because I just think blue is so pretty so I wanted to incorporate a lot of blues onto um, the patio this year. So yeah, so I'm going to put that big basket right there. And then he's adding the plant, just that little hint of greenery right there just looks so nice. And then right here we're moving our fire pit from the patio over into the grass area and we're going to be putting these chairs around it. It's not set up, you'll see the little setup at the end. But here's some of the plants that we're going to be um, 
potting and um, I just wanted lots of color because I think stink is so pretty I love colorful flowers so you guys what I'm doing right now is I'm taping up our chairs because we're going to these chairs right here you can see I have that one all taped up right there taping up the chairs because we're going to respray paint them black to give them a fresh look because uh, we keeping these chairs baby okay we keeping them <laughs> so we're keeping these chairs and we're just gonna give them a, a fresh coat and that's what I'm about to do tape them up so I've got the chairs all taped and this is what it looks like before so now we're gonna go ahead and spray paint it well spray paint them because it's four of them and you guys, we were actually going to buy a new patio table and chair set, but everything that we liked was sold out. So we were just like, hey, let's just paint the, this over and work with what we had. And so it'll do for now for this year. Um, and it saved us some coins. So if it's not broke, don't fix it. And so also Lonnie's going to paint the table. This is the table that goes with the chairs. As you can see, it looks a little like uh, it needs a refresh. So we're just gonna he's just gonna freshen this up with some paint also. And this is actually a different day, but as you can see, the piece we were missing finally came in, so we were able to get the screen, the both screens looking good. And then we actually took the plastic off the furniture, and we're getting ready to lay this rug down that I purchased from Wayfair. And again, I'll try to link as many items down in the description box as I can if you're interested in purchasing um, these things. So I really like this rug, and I wanted to go with a neutral rug because I'm going to be adding color with the um, the core that I'm using, and when you're looking out at the deck from inside of the house I wanted things to kind of flow I didn't want them to be like off I wanted it to still kind of go together because you can see all these items from inside of our house when you're looking out of the um, French doors and I really do like this rug and I'm gonna just go ahead and spray the cushions with some scotch guard I mean they're waterproof but I'm still gonna spray them anyway because that's just what I'm gonna do <laughs> and then right here I have an umbrella that I ordered from Amazon I actually ordered two they're different colors one is blue because like I said I'm gonna be incorporating some blues so Lonnie's putting the umbrella together but the thing is we wanted it to be able to sit down underneath the table so he cut this hole in the table so that this base would fit and then the umbrella could um, provide us with some shade so it just worked out perfectly my man is so handy yes he cut that hole perfectly the umbrella fits perfectly and that just worked out so well because I was like where are we gonna put an umbrella so right here we have these little guard things that we're gonna um, Lonnie's gonna put along the edge right here so that the dirt won't be falling out of the um, flower beds and it'll keep that in there so he's just gonna place those down to make it look nice and neat So now we're just gonna roll out this rug that I purchased from Lowe's. I had actually ordered a different rug from West Elm, but it was too small. It was a really nice rug, but it was just too small. And when I purchased it, it was on sale. And if I wanted a bigger one, it was going to be double the price, which was pretty expensive. So I was like, eh, I'm not about to do that, not for an outdoor rug. So I was luckily, luckily I was able to find this rug at Lowe's and it had blues in it. So I was like, okay, I'll work with it. So right here are some of the items I'm gonna use to decorate um, with outside just some pots and some flowers and some lanterns and things these lanterns right here I purchased from Lowe's I tell you guys all the time don't sleep on Lowe's Lowe's has some nice stuff I got these candles from Michaels I got that lantern from World Market and this tray and these fake faux succulents I bought them two years ago from Pier One and I had them in my shed and didn't even realize them so they're brand new that pot again is from Lowe's this pot again is from Lowe's and then this pot right here is from the at-home store so I'm going to start with this pot right here and just set this on the table just to add a little bit of color. And next I'm just going to add my lanterns. These lanterns are so freaking cute. 
I saw them I was like I have to get those and I'm just gonna add my candles I need to get one more for that blue lantern from World Market. And that's what this is looking like. Then I just added a couple of the pots down the steps just to add some more color. So now for the little table, I'm just gonna add this little tray from Pure One. And this little flower pot. So pretty. Those daisies are so pretty. I love daisies. I'm going to add these faux succulents. And like I mentioned before, the tray and the faux succulents, I bought them like two years ago from Pier 1. And they were in the Pier 1 bag in the shed. I had forgot I had even purchased them. So Milani dug them out. I was like, yes, thank you. <laughs> So I hope you guys didn't think I was going to leave the couch just white. No, 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 no. So I'm going to add this blanket that I usually have in my sitting room that I got from Target. I'm going to add this blue pillow that's from World, from World Market. Isn't it pretty? That blue is so pretty. I'm going to add this other blue pillow that's also from World Market. Look at those blues. They're so pretty. I'm going to add another one of those solid blue pillows over to the side. And then I'm going to add this pillow here that's also from World Market. All of these pillows are from World Market. They cost a pretty penny, but they're worth it. And they're really good quality. And they're just freaking gorgeous. <laughs> so I'm going to do the same thing to this side. And that's what this looks like. Next, we're going to go ahead and change this light because uh, that light has got to go. So that's what Lonnie doing. Coco's out here chilling, enjoying the outdoors. And this light right here we purchased from Lowe's. And then this chair right here I purchased from Target. This pillow right here is also from Lowe's. This little white table right here is from Lowe's. And then this plant and this pot is also from Lowe's. I told y'all, Lowe's be coming through. And this is not sponsored. <laughs> okay, so over here in the fire pit area, here are the Adirondack chairs I was telling you about. And then this pillow right here is also from World Market. Isn't that gorgeous? That geometric is so nice. I love it. So here's a look at everything before. And this is what it looks like after.
I know many of you are probably wondering how do we protect the furniture when we're not using it. As you can see, we purchased covers for everything. I ordered all of these covers from Amazon. I ordered umbrella covers also, and I'll link them down below, all the covers down below in the description box. All right, you guys, so there you have it. That's our outdoor deck and patio. Comment down below and let us know what you think, but you know, some of y'all gonna like it, some of y'all will not, but that's okay because we absolutely love it. I also wanna say, if you're new to the channel, Hey y'all, hey, I'm Anita. Welcome to my channel, welcome to the family. To all my returning subscribers, you guys know how I feel about y'all. Y'all know I love y'all. Y'all know y'all mean the world to me. And if you happen to be stopping by and you like what you see, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below and become part of the family. Also, don't forget to hit your notification bell so that you don't miss any videos that I upload. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it. And as always, I just wanna say, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for rolling with the girl and my handy dandy assistant. <laughs> I love y'all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.